Hey everyone and welcome to my vlog. My name's Dan, you know this because you follow me, obviously. Uh, today I just wanted to give you a quick update on everything that's going on with me and what's going to happen this week. Uh, I was going to put that video out for you that was of Reading and everything that happened at Reading uh, Festival and in London last week and me being in hospital last week, uh, the emergency hospital visits and everything. I was going to put a big long video together for you but my laptop went into an update cycle and I don't have another way to edit unfortunately at the moment so I'm just waiting for that to finish all its updates and then I will get that video finished and put up online for you um, but this week I am in hospital on Thursday I'm going to see the specialists on Thursday again um, the professors and the surgeons and the doctors and we're going to go and see if we can surgically remove some of this surface tissue surface tumors uh, to try and alleviate some of the pain and the pain that i've got at the moment is now just really excruciating um, numbing pain it's upsetting um, sometimes i can be walking down the road and i have to walk with a stick now just to support my arm and support my body um, and my leg and basically my pelvis there's stuff growing in between my um, joints and stuff um, pushing things apart it really is quite painful um, but walking down the street sometimes I can get upset about it um, life to me now is completely different to how it was before um, whereas I used to be like a, a, a big ass rogue and a bit of a bit of a silly billy just playing around doing what I want uh, I can't do all that at the moment and I can't do all that anymore because my body can't do it I physically I physically can't do it mentally I want to do it but I physically can't do it um, and that's really upsetting and that's something that I'm finding hard to come to terms with um, but I'm getting there uh, getting there definitely um, I've got this issue with my lymphedema as well um, and I just want to explain that I've started to lose sensation and feeling in my hand especially in these two fingers here uh, this is affectionately known as starfish hand uh, Becky named it that my love uh, Becky uh, with the ginger hair um, and she bought me a uh, well she got it from Harrods actually got the starfish from Harrods to match my starfish hand um, so yeah she, she thought about that, I like that. Now that's love right there. Um, also, I just wanted to give you an update on the hoodies and stuff. So if you've ordered one of these, you can still order one. They've still got all the patches uh, and everything. Uh, you can still order one for the next two days, I think it is. Um, we're raising money for the Youth Cancer Trust. Um, and basically what's happened, if you've ordered one, your order is on its way. We've, uh, every single one is printed to order, so it's made to order. The problem we've got at the moment is the order went out of, out of sync, so some of the earlier orders haven't actually been sent out till now, but they have been sent out. So everyone will receive their hoodies. We apologize for the delay. Um, please, as soon as you receive it, tag me in it, put it on uh, Instagram and just, Let's have a laugh. Let's put together a really cool collage and just say thank you for your help. And there's gonna be some other cool uh, merchandise come out in the next couple of weeks, which are gonna be to benefit a different charity and a different um, organization. So I'm really excited about that. And hopefully if we all are good as a lovely little team, we can uh, help lots of people out in the world and that's what being a community is about also i had this dream of setting up this peer-to-peer -peer community um, which is actually slowly becoming a reality now so this is <clears throat> on my website there's a community.pbtoms.com uh, and we were trying to make this community to help people peer-to-peer -peer and just be there for each other i found it so hard when i found out i had cancer um, just to find someone to talk to who was relatable, my age or anything like that. And it, it just was really hard. And I found that there was loads of forums, but there were no real ways of tracking people, not tracking people, but finding people who could help. Um, and I thought that that would be a good thing for me to invest my time in as a software developer um, to get that going so that's what we are doing we've got a company working with us now and we're just 
gonna get that finished. We'll get that online and that'll hopefully be done before I unfortunately pass away. Um, I wanna make sure it's done before that, uh, so as I can see it done. Um, but I love everyone who, I just literally love everyone who supports me and it's just amazing the amount of support you give. Um, and I wanna thank you all for it. So yeah, anyway, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, that's enough for today because I'm blabbering. But I'll see you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.